after enduring the fear and hardship they have been under for the 474 days since the animals arrived, Reagan and Emmett manage to reach the island, and for a little moment, they feel safe. The anonymous island man played by Jimin Hunsu reveals that the monsters are terrified of the ocean and that the island's people were lucky enough to be able to board a few boats and flee to safety. Naturally, Emmett's joy at their arrival is short-lived as he discovers one of the animals was lurking inside their boat. It emerges and launches an assault on the island's populace, killing a few and demolishing some rooftops. Reagan and Emmett are picked up by Hunsu's character, who then drives around the island to divert the creature's attention long enough for it to pursue them. Reagan manages to go into the radio station and use her hearing aid to magnify the feedback in an attempt to stop the monster before she kills it in a satisfying manner while the guy on the island meets his demise at the hands of the creature. As their oxygen slowly runs out, Reagan's activities with the radio then allow her brother Marcus, who is trapped inside an old boiler with Evelyn and his newborn sibling, to take control as well. Marcus uses the radio as a weapon against the beast assaulting them. The main goal of A Quiet Place Part 2 is to contrast these two sequences in order to emphasize Reagan and Marcus' actions against the two monsters as they get ready to seize control and shoot them to death. Their triumph is framed by their capacity to overcome fear and save their hurt mother as well as their recently discovered father figure, which makes the hardships they face to get here seem worthwhile. Because of its significant global consequences, A Quiet Place Part 2 ends with more acclaim than its predecessor. The sequel goes farther than the first movie as the characters learn that putting Reagan's hearing aid in front of a microphone increases the feedback and causes the creatures to reveal the most sensitive areas of their heads. The world now has a weapon to employ against the monsters in the future because to Reagan's ability to amplify the feedback on a bigger scale. Marcus was also able to stop the creature in its tracks by tuning into the radio station, which allowed Reagan to create sound beyond a single area. The conclusion positions Reagan to permanently establish the radio station as a front in the battle against the creatures who have never before faced such a significant obstacle. All it would take to get an action-packed sequel with more characters banding together to fend off the creatures would be to turn up the volume on the radio and listen for the response. Since Reagan has turned her hearing aid into a weapon, viewers might expect to see more of the world's remaining population actively fighting back rather than just hunkering down for the duration. After all, there's power in numbers.